What is a Mogurt? Is that Mexican yogurt? No, that is a motion graphics template file you can make in After Effects, bring into Premiere, so you could take your creativity from After Effects and bring it into your Premiere profiles. It works great to make templates like lower thirds, transitions. If you wanna figure out how to make great Mogurt files for your videos, then you don't wanna miss a single second of this video. So let's dive into it. So I'm in After Effects and I have a new comp. I'm gonna enable my guides which I prepped prior to this video. I'm gonna create a shape layer, which is my outline stroke, and I'll give it no fill, and I'll keep it at a white stroke. Now inside, I'll create another rectangle, but it'll have a white fill. Next, I'll grab my text tool, and I'll make my lower text. I'll turn my guides off for now. And in my stroke shape layer, I'll go to my add parameter, and I'll go to trim paths. I'll make a keyframe at the beginning under the start parameter, and I'll jump to about one second. And actually I'll change my end parameter to 50%. So it starts in the left corner. And at one second, I'll make another start keyframe to 50%. This will animate my stroke nicely. Next, I'll grab my anchor point tool and drag my rectangles anchor point to the left middle of the text box. And I'll hit S for my scale parameters and I'll unconstrain my proportions. I'll keyframe at one second and one at zero. And I'll start it at 0% easy ease my keyframes. Now I'll hit U to reveal my keyframes on the bottom layer and I'll make sure my shape layer keyframes are lined up. Now I'll create a track mat by pick whipping my rectangle layer to the upper text layer and I'll invert it. This will create a nice transparent track mat within my rectangle layer. Now I'll create a null object and I'll parent my upper text layer to animate my position. I'll animate it in at about one second and easy ease the keyframes. All right, that's a little slow and a little late, so I'm gonna scoop my first keyframe to speed it up a little bit. All right, much better. So now I'll parent my lower text to my upper text so they both animate in at the same time. So now I'm just gonna quickly duplicate my starting keyframes and add them to the end of my timeline so the animation goes out. I'll have it stay on screen for about three seconds and then start to animate out. And I'll do the same thing with my text keyframes, but my text keyframes are gonna disappear first, then my animation will start. Just like you see here, comes in and then goes out. Okay, so now we're gonna create a Mogurt template from this design, but before we do, if you're enjoying this video, then please hit that like button so it could spread to more creators like you. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my essential graphics. Under primary, I'm selecting my composition. Now in my text layer dropdown, I'll find source text and I'll drag that up into the essentials graphics window. And you'll see a text box appears, so that's what's gonna be in your template. I'll select the Edit Properties button and make sure these three properties are selected so we can edit the font size, the faux styles, and everything in our template. Now we'll do the same thing, but I'll drag my position parameter into the Essential Graphics panel, so this way we could tweak the position of our text when we end up changing it. Now we really can't change the color parameter because remember, our upper text is transparent, but if we add a fill effect to it, then we could add the color parameter and we could toggle that on and off. More about that later. So let's create a group from the bottom left dropdown and we can organize our parameters a bit. So I'll move all my upper text parameters into the first group and I'll make another group and add my lower parameters in there. And I'll make sure to grab my lower text position parameter and let's change the fill color to white. And we could add a parameter for the rectangle color. Find that. and I'll call it, I'll label it rectangle color. And then we could add one more for the stroke color as well. So I'll find that and drag that on there. And lastly, we can't forget to add the source text box for the lower text as well. So I'll drag that on there. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Now let's export motion graphics template. It'll ask you to save, so you save. A dialog box will pop up asking you for a save destination. You could change it to your local drive or keep it in your cloud library. Add some keywords so it's easy to find. Hit okay, and let's move to Premiere. 
Now here I have my sequence in Premiere. This is one of my old videos, finding the perfect music for your edit. Links above, check it out. So I'll go to Window, Essential Graphics. I'll type in my search and I'll type lower third. And once I find it, I'll drag it right into my sequence. And there's my lower third. So if you go to the Edit tab, then you can edit all your parameters from here. So there it is, there's my lower third. Looks great. And one other thing I added later on that you did not see was an opacity slider to the fill layer so we could actually adjust the transparency of the upper text depending on what we overlay it on. So there you have it guys. So if you use a lot of the same assets for each video like lower thirds, transitions, then creating a Mogra template is probably your best bet. It'll speed up the process and trust me, it's a game changer. I use it myself a lot. If you want that lower third for your videos, check the description below and you can download it. Hope this video helps your videos in the future. See you next time.